It's time to party like it's 1997. In this review, we're showing off the X-Men 97 wave of Marvel Legends figures from Hasbro. Before we travel back in time, make sure to subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell. X-Men 97 continues the storyline of the original 90s X-Men cartoon. And thus, the 90s kids turned contemporary kiddles can relish in the latest Marvel Legends toy engineering. The characters in the starting wave include Wolverine, Rogue, Storm, Bishop, Gambit, and Magneto. Okay, from the top, I want to give you a sneak peek of the final verdict. These figures are incredible. Some of the best we've seen from Marvel Legends. MCU figures have been getting better and better face sculpts, and now we're seeing that advancement in the more cartoonish figures. Looking at the face sculpts, you can see how sharp and simplified they are. In my opinion, there's just the right proportion of detail and paint. The shadow over Magneto's eyes and the windswept, almost anime-like hair of Gambit, Rogue, and Storm are the highlights. This Goldilocks paint and sculpt is reflected throughout the rest of the figures too, with the only missing detail, perhaps, being a little paint on Wolvie's hirsute arms. Even so, the texture alone does a good enough job. Articulation is as robust as you can expect from a comic-style Marvel Legends figure. There's very little you can't do. Even Gambit, with his long jacket, can still pull off gymnastic poses thanks to the material yielding just enough. Wolverine wins the posability competition, though, since he has butterfly joints. Accessory-wise, we get just enough for each character and no extra. Most characters include alternate hands, Bishop has his blaster, Gambit includes his bow and charged playing card effects, and Wolverine has an alternate unmasked head and face mask. Other details of note include Storm's cape, which is made of cloth, and Magneto's cape, which, unlike previous iterations, is permanently attached at the chest, but with the familiar peg in the back to allow for some give. If I were to try and think of constructive feedback, Accessories are lean, I suppose. Nitpick. To be honest, I'm in love with these figures. Which mutant are you hoping for in Wave 2? Let us know in the comments. Bring on Jean Grey, I say. The launch wave X-Men 97 Marvel Legends is nearly all pros. The colors are vibrant and bright, the paint is precise, the articulation is great. And the best feature of all, the face sculpts. Can I say it? Perfect. They're perfect. The only very mild cons are that we aren't spoiled on the accessories. We get just enough. Barely even feels like a con, actually. I guess only Wolverine has butterfly joints? Small potatoes. Whatever hypothetical new molding or painting system Hasbro implemented has shown through in the quality of this wave. This feels like a noticeable step up in quality, in my opinion. Therefore, I give this X-Men 97 Marvel Legends Wave from Hasbro 5 out of 5 stars. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and follow us on TikTok at the Toy Authority.